So we are here at Umm Al Kawain, one of the Emirates in the UAE. It's about an hour away from Dubai, and I thought, you know what? We need a bit of a day out, a little day trip to the beach, and this is a little bit something different. Nice to get out of Dubai every now and then. So we're at a place called Kite Beach Center, and it is quite a little vibrant place. Let us go and explore. This place literally has every little random thing you could possibly imagine. Like basketball net there, loads of water sports based accessories. Do a bit of knitting here if you want to do some knitting. We've got some tents there if you want to stay here and sleep overnight. There's a swing, there's a chill out area. There's little cabanas, there's a gym. Can't really see how this is going to end well, to be honest with you. It says again, use it your wrist. Yeah, this is so hard. Is there a technique? Just look ahead. I'm gonna literally castrate myself, I think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right, I'm gonna speak to the chefs to see what we're gonna have for lunch because uh, the menu looks pretty decent. What have we got on the menu today? It's squid. What fish is that? Yes. Oh my days. That looks good. Show that wow. to Louis when he's on a diet. I'll probably have to get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're only here once, so we've got to have the steaks. Oh, nice. What would you get? First time here. What's the I best food? I need to experience something that will blow my mind. Uh, I recommend you mixed grill. Mixed grill? What, a meat yeah. or the fish? Uh, no, fish. Seafood mixed grill, yeah. Seafood mixed grill, I think I'm going to have to get that. Oh my goodness. Excuse me? Super duper special seafood platter. It's a happy guy there. God, <laughs> what an absolute feast. All fresh, cooked on the grill. You got chicken, Francis got a burger, Joel's got the chicken as well. Is that a chicken wrap? Chicken chicken. Uh, we came onto the beach and we noticed there's a massive vessel in the distance. Not quite a Royal Caribbean vessel, but a pretty impressive one either way. It looks like it's washed up. So we're gonna go and uh, investigate and see what it's all about. So if anyone is unaware, me and Mike have an ongoing joke. This man eats more garlic than anyone in the whole wide world. In his fridge, he has a box of garlic that he just adds to everything. Because garlic's amazing. And he's such a weird guy. Yeah. That literally he carries cloves <laughs> of garlic around him <laughs> everywhere. That's how much of a weird guy he is. Oh. <laughs> to keep away the, the bad omens. Keep away the, the vampire vampires. Girls. Yep. It's a pretty interesting story behind this. I'm not going to explain it all because, to be honest with you, I don't even know the full story. But if you Google shipwreck UAE or shipwreck Um Al Quain, it'll tell you the full story of what the hell that's doing here. So deep. That is crazy. Can you zoom in and see the crab? Yeah, right on you. So many barnacles. It's so weird. There he is, there, there. Yeah. Whoa. Hello, hello. You live on the boat? Yeah, yeah. You live there? How long? Uh, very long. Long months. Wow. 43 months. How many more months? Five, five minutes. Five, five months, months left? Yeah. And then you can get off? No. You need to get paid? Yeah, now okay. Ah, okay. 43 months on that ship. And, and they, have, they have no intention of getting off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I... I think they they were on there waiting to get paid because the owner like abandoned them and they didn't give them their wages for ages. They were owed like all of them together, five or six of them owed like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. But I think someone's bought a ship or something, and now they're gonna get paid. But I do not know the full story. Okay, so the real reason we came here was to check out the outdoor gym. Look at the state of that. As far as outdoor wooden gyms go. Actually looks okay. I think it looks like a wipe. A wipe. <laughs> Bit of a wipe. 
Tarzan gym. For real? Oh, Louis, put some more plates in there. Gingerly place it. Oh, yes. No. I can't even lift it with a rock on them, my dear. We need, we need a wider grip for a lap pull down. This is literally the least practical size dumbbell ever. <laughs> Well, that's not going to be happening. Do like, change, change your grip. Yeah, like that. By the way, guys, if anyone's wondering, these are 100 kilograms each. Yeah. I would guess this is 10, 10 kilos. Should be a piece of cake, please. See what they've got here. What is that? For the rack. Piping. It's like a bit of piping. What are your thoughts on the gym? Pretty shit. <laughs> what do you think? Not bad. It's not the worst, not the best. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't have a gym, this is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't have a gym. They've done well with this place, to be fair. They've been very creative with uh, rope, wood, and rock. But, um,. Yeah, I don't know, if you were trying to get a full workout here, it wouldn't be the best. It's not the most practical, but it's fun. It's definitely fun. Yeah, 200. 200 pounds? Yeah. Well, just over, I'd say. 205. I've lost a bit of weight, just over 90 kg. See my lower back? I think you've gained muscle mass. My lower back's disappeared. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. It definitely has. Shout out to Adam, aka Pro Life Coach, for getting rid of my lower back. I literally cannot pose for shit. <sighs> the famous Louis Armstrong pose. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not posing you, had, you have to do it. No, I just did like four hours of posing last night. My muscles are exhausted. Come on. Just... <laughs> 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 Your back actually looks pretty shredded. Yes! <laughs> so, successful day. Just ordered second round of food because we're all pretty hungry after that five minute gym workout. <laughs> Louis, you're a little bit concerned about the people on the ship. I am. I'm actually genuinely concerned by the people on the ship. I want to do something for them, but I don't have 170 70 grand to give them just out my overdraft otherwise it would have helped them <laughs> but according to recent studies aka a recent article it's uh it's been settled and apparently they are going to go home i think who but knows? who knows really it's a bit of a mad one what's this coming for oh my god <laughs> holy fuck <laughs> what the <laughs> shit what imagine if we had the drone just flying there it's so screwed. <laughs> oh. oh, now we are at Olympia Gym. Just a couple minutes away slash half an hour away from where we just were in Kite Beach on Alcoyne. Are we now in Sharjah? I think we're in Sharjah now. I wanted to come here for a while. This is apparently a very, very well kitted out gym, but living in Dubai, it would take like an hour to drive here. And that's pretty pointless to drive an hour to go to the gym. There's loads of good gyms in Dubai. But since we're on the way back home, 
and this is in our path en route. We'll go and check it out. So we're in. The only issue is there are no females allowed in this gym, apart from like two receptionists, and that's it. So Francis can't train with us, so it's just the three amigos. We're gonna hit a bit of shoulders, maybe some arms. We'll see how it goes. So far, we can see a lot of machinery. So uh, this is one of these sessions where we just improvise. It's a bit of a mad one as well, like being in charger. It is really quite strict here, like compared to the other Emirates. Like I think, you know when everyone has that like, what's the word? I would describe it as absolutely not a vibe. <laughs> when everyone thinks that like, oh my God, like Dubai is so strict. Dubai is not strict, but the surrounding places around Dubai can be strict. And Sharjah is one of the strictest Emirates. Like, especially when it comes to females, all the women have to be like fully covered up. No drinking. Apparently the sheik of such charger is like really religious, so that's why. Anyway, enough of me blabbering on. Let's go train. <laughs> oh fucking cheers mate, thank you. This is the first time I've ever seen a bench like this. I was trying to figure out what it was at first but I think it's for the rope. So instead of just like leaning on a bench. What do you think, Louis? Absolutely groundbreaking stuff, guys. It's pretty groundbreaking. We're gonna finish off with two tricep exercises because to be honest, our shoulders are pretty fried. So apparently all the arm machines are upstairs, so let's go have a look upstairs. Duck. Up here is literally crazy. Never seen him. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this big. I have come to the conclusion that I like training in gyms where there's girls. I think some people find it a distraction, but I like it. I like the Dubai candy to look at. What do you think? Don't worry, Francis isn't going to watch this video. So yeah. Do I like looking at girls in the gym? No, would you prefer training in the gym with no girls at all, like this? No, definitely. Definitely with girls. Yeah. It's just weird, because whenever you come to a gym where it's all men, everyone kind of just tries to stare each other out, which is just weird. Yeah, I'd rather get stared out by girls than men, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> We're all on the same page. We're just trying to better ourselves. We're helping each other grow, but instead you get stared at. <laughs> it's weird. Where are we gonna go now? Where are we going now? Are we going back home? We're going back to Dubai. That was a good workout. I actually really like that gym. It's a shame it is literally an hour away, but ah, maybe I'll come back again sometime. But I'm surprised they actually did. They outdid Dubai with that gym. Good session, lads. Yeah. Be good. Very Be good. Be good. It's a late one, 21:42. So uh, I think. We'll head off now, go and find a delicious place to eat. Oh, we're back in Dubai, as you can tell by all the lights, noise, and skyscrapers. We're gonna go to the one and only Projeto Acai. Never been to this one before. I always go to the one in the marina, but never fails to please my taste buds. So let's go and feast. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks so much. 
Okay, so we got standard surf summer bowl in a nice different bowl than usual. We've got the Brazilian chicken wrap, delicious. Same, same, and you've made your own. Cannot wait to cook in this munch. So we're back in the apartment now. I'm absolutely stuffed. I had a very fun day. <sighs> and now it's time to go to bed because it's really late. So that's the end of the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.